astronomers have found new evidence against a basic assumption of cosmology. The new theory explains the rotation of galaxies and other motions in the cosmos entirely without the influence of dark matter. If the Aqual theory is correct, one of the greatest mysteries of astronomy could be solved. But why did researchers come up with the existence of dark matter in the first place? And what will the new theory change? Stay tuned and join us on this exciting journey into the world of dark matter, galaxy rotation, and Newtonian physics. The Aqual Theory The Aqual Theory, in short, is an alternative explanation for the rotation of galaxies without resorting to the hypothetical existence of dark matter. According to common assumptions, dark matter makes up a significant fraction of the total mass of a galaxy and is distributed approximately uniformly around its center. This additional mass creates an increased gravity that affects the rotational velocity of stars. In the rotation curves of galaxies, researchers found a phenomenon that indicated that there must be another mass in addition to the visible matter. If one looks only at the distribution of the visible matter, the rotation speed of stars within a galaxy should decrease with increasing distance from the center. But the rotation curves of galaxies show that this is not so. This discrepancy was previously explained by the existence of another invisible form of matter. But until today, nobody could prove the existence of this matter. Dark matter does not exist. The secret element with which so long so many mysteries in physics could be explained is dark matter. But it has its pitfalls. Dark matter does not interact electromagnetically in theory and is therefore undetectable with our current means. The existence of this mysterious form of matter could only be described by observations and its gravitational effect on the visible world of matter. Practically, this means at the present time, however, only that the assumption of dark matter is a physical gap filler. The assumption of a medium like dark matter solved some astrophysical problems, but at the same time, it raised new problems. The biggest of these issues remains, until present day, the lack of proof of its real existence. The standard model of particle physics does not contain any elementary particle, indicating that it's a building block of dark matter. In plain language, this means, although scientists are fairly certain that dark matter exists, there is no real evidence of its existence. Not even in one of the best elementary particle laboratories in the world have researchers been able to even come close to proving that dark matter really exists. With dark matter, not only the rotation speed within galaxies is explained, it's supposed to be furthermore a decisive component of the structures of our universe. Thanks to its mysterious gravity, galaxies and galaxy clusters are formed, held together, and moved. Dark matter influences its visible light counterpart, controlling not only the dynamics of galaxies, but also the forces and motions inside massive galaxy clusters. In producing the gravitational lensing effect, the presence of dark matter can explain why light from distant objects is deflected in such a way that these objects appear greatly magnified to us and become observable. Dark matter is thus one of the most important quantities in the standard model of cosmology, and scientists believe that it makes up a large part of the observable universe. The Invention of Dark Matter To understand the new Aqual explanation, you need to know how dark matter came into the astrophysics picture in the first place. A Swiss astronomer named Fritz Zwicky observed a cluster of galaxies called Kama in 1933 and found that visible mass alone was unable to generate the gravitational force that held the clusters together. Zwicky calculated the mass of the galaxies at the edge of the cluster and compared it to the brightness and number of galaxies in the cluster as a whole. The results of these calculations did not agree. Because of this discrepancy, Zwicky recognized the need for the presence of an invisible type of matter, which he called dark matter. This phenomenon was the first indication of the existence of dark matter in the universe. In the 1970s, in the United States, astronomer Vera Rubin conducted research on the rotation curves of galaxies. 
The rotation curve represents the orbital velocities of visible stars or gases within a galaxy and as a function of their distance from the center. In our solar system, the rotation speed of planets decreases the farther they are from the Sun. The outer planets, such as Uranus and Neptune, rotate around the Sun more slowly than the inner ones. Mathematically, their orbital velocities are thus inversely proportional to the square root of the radial distance from the Sun. Rubin and her colleague, Kent Ford, found that the rotational velocities within galaxies describe a very different curve. Within galaxies, stars in the outer regions either orbit around the galactic center as fast as the inner ones, or the outer ones are even slightly faster. But how can this be? The two researchers found an answer in the assumption of a considerable amount of invisible matter. Just like the Swiss Zwicky, the two U.S. Americans called this phenomenon dark matter. Over time, the evidence for dark matter accumulated. As we have already shown you, many cosmic phenomena, for which there would otherwise have been no other explanation, could be detected by the existence of dark matter. In the 1980s, observations of gravitational lensing of background objects were explained by the existence of dark matter. Some 12 years later, measurements of the cosmic background radiation and observations of the large-scale structure formation of the universe revealed that something like dark matter must exist in the universe. Researchers found so much evidence for an invisible, lumpy, and stringy structure of the universe that it could hardly be explained by the existence of visible matter. Thus, the concept of dark matter became a fixture in modern cosmology. The proof of their existence lay in pure observations, and finally the theory of dark matter could hold also so long because there was no other explanation for the phenomena. Nevertheless, dark matter continued to pose the problem that scientists to this day do not have the faintest idea what it's made of. For a time, weakly interacting massive particles, massive compact halo objects, axions, and sterile neutrinos were talked about as the building blocks of dark matter. However, numerous experiments, such as CREST, Lux Zeppelin, the Axion Dark Matter Experiment, the Xenon Dark Matter Experiment, and the Dark Matter Maps from the Dark Energy Survey failed to find any evidence for the existence of this form of matter. Of course, after all the failed experiments, researchers had to wonder if there might not be any dark matter at all, and they had spent years on a mistake. Many research teams since then set out to find alternatives to dark matter, and they found what they were looking for. MOND Modified Newtonian Dynamics One initial alternative was Modified Newtonian Dynamics, or MOND for short. The explanatory model minimally adapted the doctrine of Newtonian gravity and was thus able to explain the rotation curves of galaxies entirely without the existence of dark matter. As a reminder, the laws of the natural scientist Isaac Newton describes forces, movements, and dynamics within the visible space. Significant points are the acceleration laws as well as the gravitation law. These basic assumptions of physics could be extended for a long time without problems to phenomena and movements of the universe. But Newton's laws could have a limit in the cosmos. The physicist Mordechai Milgram suggested, therefore, in 1983, to adapt the laws to gravity for environments with extremely low acceleration environment a little bit. His new thesis assumed that below a certain limiting acceleration, somewhat different rules of dynamics might apply than Newton described. The limit above which Mon values apply refers to areas where visible matter is very thinly distributed. Exactly this is the case at the edge of galaxies and galaxy clusters. The gravitational forces are very weak compared to the inner regions of the galaxies, which can explain the changed rate of motion. Milgram extended his theory in the following years together with his colleague, Jacob Bekenstein, and thereby the ACWAL theory came about. ACWAL stands for a quadratic Lagrangian. The name comes from the fact that the new theory replaced the classical Lagrangian formulism with the limiting acceleration assumptions of Mond theory. 
This formalism is a mathematical method based on the principles of classical mechanics that is used to describe the motion of systems. Implications for Cosmology The cosmological model currently accepted worldwide is called the Lambda Cold Dark Matter Model, or LCDM model for short. This model states that most of the universe consists of dark energy. In physics, a Greek letter, lambda, stands for dark matter. The LCDM model explains observed phenomena such as the cosmic background radiation and the large-scale distribution of galaxies. The Aqual hypothesis affects this model in that the rotation curve of a galaxy consists of an inner part, which is a rising curve, and the outer part, which is slightly rising or nearly saturated. These two parts correspond to the motion of stars in the inner and outer regions of galaxies. Since the LCDM model attributes the rotation curves of galaxies to the presence and effect of dark matter, the distribution of matter should account for both the inner and outer parts of the rotation curve. By Aqual, the transition caused by the dynamics of the galaxy is responsible for the difference between the inner and outer parts of the rotation curve. The small kink in the curve is caused by the slight change in velocity distribution between the inner and outer stellar motion. A study by Korean K. H. Chai looked at the rotation curve of 152 galaxies. The results of the study showed that in many cases, the Aqual model brought a better agreement with the observed rotation curves of the galaxies than the LCDM model. But what would it mean for our cosmological worldview if dark matter does not exist at all? If the Aqual theory is right and phenomena of gravity, like galaxy rotations and others, can be explained by a simple modification of Newton's theory of gravity, this would mean that the whole of physics, in extreme areas where dark matter was assumed so far, works completely differently than previously assumed. Such a paradigm shift would have far-reaching consequences for the understanding of physics and the universe. It would mean that numerous models and theories would have to be reconsidered and adapted. Everything we thought we knew about the gravitational lensing effect, the structure of the universe, or even black holes, might be wrong. Practically, this could mean that perhaps some fundamental problems of the universe would form completely new solutions and we would get a completely different picture of the cosmos. Scientists would be busy for years, if not decades, finding new solutions and changing equations. Since the Aqual theory has found so far only few supporters who take it seriously, this is, however, still a ways away. It remains to be seen if further observations and problems in astrophysics indicate that the previous assumptions about the existence of dark matter are wrong. Can you imagine that a simple modification of Newton's laws of acceleration is sufficient to explain all the phenomena that have so far been associated with dark matter?